Working cool. What is going on? I haven't done a vlog in a long time. Today is the 20th of March, I believe, 2022. And yes, and it is 7.30 p.m. Hopefully there's not going to be any loud cars that pass through, you know, while I'm doing this vlog. But yeah, I haven't done one in a long time. I think one of the major reasons why is um, I've been, I, I had this like a uh, remote job for the last six to seven months. So there's like really nothing to talk about because I don't really have too much interactions with people unless I go outside. And when I go outside, I typically just go to like a supermarket to get food and then come back home. Only yesterday, I've been trying to really do something uh, because I've been trying to go outside more. I've been trying to find ways to go outside and uh, places to go to because at the current age I am, I have this, I always have this, this guilt, this feeling like I'm wasting life away. I mean, I'm not in my 20s anymore and now that my 20s is gone and those are like the formative years where you're supposed to try and experiment new things and I mean you can still do that after the age of 20 but you know you start realizing man uh, that well a whole decade is gone just because of this odor condition that sort of uh, motive I would say motivated me uh, made me go into a reclusive state and just try to not be in public space but now Though I'm not cured, I still, you know, I'm still maintaining a diet. That's another thing people say. They're like, oh, this, that's so great that you're, I bet, I bet you're eating whatever you want now because you're, you're, you have a remote job. And the thing is, no, I'm not eating whatever the fuck I want anymore. I'm still trying to maintain a diet. And now, to be fair, my diet is less restrictive, but it's just like, it's just a vegan diet. I mean, if I can tell you just the common things I fucking eat, I always say, I eat oatmeal, you know, I eat salads, which is pretty much just like um, lettuce, uh, cucumbers, um, uh, bell peppers, I eat fruit like apples, pears, um, I've been, I added some strawberries, blueberries, shit, I, I get like a green shake, which consists of spinach, kale, celery, blah, 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 blah. I eat potatoes, blah, 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 blah. But the point I'm trying to make is, like, I don't really go crazy on my diet because at the end of the day, even though I have been through it, I've been through a lot of situations where I was at workplace and I was really craving pizza. Oh, I remember my last job where for some reason my boss, and, and, you know, when he went, wanted to celebrate, he would bring a pizza or he would bring donuts for everybody. And I wanted to eat that pizza so bad, or I wanted to eat that donut so bad, but I knew it was gonna make me smell awful. They already treated me, you know, they already treated me as a smelly person. So I know if I ate all that pizza or any of those donuts, I smell worse. But yeah, the thought occurred to me that, you know, I rather, I rather give up on f tasty food and still have the ability to have a social life than have no social life and be able to gorge in pizzas and ice creams and donuts and shit. But I wanted to make this, I wanted to make this vlog specifically because I wanted to talk about the fact that um, I think I'm gonna go back into drinking kefir again. So there was a point, there was a point in time where, you know, Gut War and Salvador had kombucha. Salvador was about kombucha. Oh yeah, you just gotta drink kombucha a lot and that'll help you. And then the Gut War Josh was talking about um, kefir or kefir. I guess that's the proper name to say, proper way to say it. So I remember doing that a lot in 2019 or later in 2019 and in 2020. But then I just gave up on it because I was doing it for like almost a year and I still got the same results. But I do recall when I had an interview with Josh, he was telling me how the way he stopped his thing, what he would do is he would drink one bottle of kefir, kefir, I'm going to call it kefir because I like calling it kefir. Kefir sounds weird. I don't know. It sounds like, I don't know. It sounds weird. It sounds like cheese or some shit. But in any case, um, he said he drank one bottle of kefir for a day every day for about like 90 days or so. And when I tried to do kefir, 
when I did the store bought one, I couldn't drink one bottle of kefir a day because that shit was expensive. It was like it was four ninety eight. It was four dollars and ninety eight cents, and I had a I had a a part time or full time job that paid like somewhere between like ten dollars to twelve dollars an hour, and I also had student loans and. To make a long story short, I had minimum wage, aka a poverty wage, so I didn't have the capability of just buying seven bottles worth of kefir and then also pay all the other bills I had to do for for an entire week. Um, but fast forward to today, I have a living wage and I can spend seven dollars, uh, not seven dollars worth, Hope I wish it was seven dollars worth, but I can spend, buy seven bottles of kefir and and drink one every day so this is the perfect time to try that so that's what i'm going to try to do i don't know how many bottles of kefir i have in my fridge right now it has to at least be six so i probably have to like buy like and i'm not drink i'm probably just going to drink the just the original brand and the low fat one because i know they also have flavors i also found and when i'm talking about the brand i'm talking about lifeway you can find that at Publix. i don't know if you can find that at whole foods um but you definitely can find that all these. I don't know all the supermarkets, so you figure it out. But they also Lifeway has like oat milk, fermented oat milk. I actually saw that in Publix, fermented oat milk. But they had like the you know the ones that have the flavors, like the strawberries and the blueberries. So they have tons of like sugar added into it. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into all that shit. Point is, I'm gonna try to drink a bottle of kefir for 90 days. And I think I'm going to try to make a video every week showing my progress because I'm also going to capture, record the type of food I'm eating as well. So people can take a look at that. Uh, what else was going to say? Um, I can't really think. Oh, yeah. I also have like water kefir. Uh, I have some water kefir, but um, what I was doing with the water kefir is I was, I originally put like brown sugar in the water kefir because I thought it would be good for it. But nothing happened. It was not fermenting. There was no carbonated anything to it. So then I started putting like <laughs> I started putting maple syrup into <laughs> into it. And I think I fucked up the water kefir because I was looking online just today and it's like you should you know I got I read some articles like you should not bring any put any maple syrup in water kefir. So I don't know if I messed up my water kefir altogether or the grains altogether. Um, what else is there to say? Um, today, um, I went out, or yesterday, I mean, I went outside, and <laughs> I went outside close to the Miami Beach area because I wanted to, I was like, you know, I need to go outside because I can't stay cooped up in my house, and there were a lot of good looking ladies, but uh, once I started to sweat, once I started to sweat, my back started sweating, my face started sweating. And I just started like getting super anxiety and then I started freaking out and then I was like, oh shit, I want to go home. So then I left early. <laughs> but I think on this part, in this year, I'm going to really try to make attempts to go out in public spaces. I want to try to make attempts to go out in public spaces and since I'm like in the Miami area, like in Hollywood Beach, I can, I'm, I feel like I'm in the heart of Miami because going to Miami Beach or to Hollywood Beach or to Fort Lauderdale Beach, they're not that far away from me, you know? Going to a popular mall like Aventura Mall is not that far away from me. Maybe I'll record something like that. Um, other than that, uh, um, also I have, um, I also have a mission to try to uh, go back to the doctors. And because I stopped going to doctors when I was a, uh, when I was like, you know, when I was in my early 20s, mainly because the main reason why I actually stopped going to doctors is because I didn't have the health insurance. My mother used to have health insurance where it was given to family. I don't know what the proper name is, but she had health insurance where I could also part get health insurance as well because, um, yeah, I don't know, based on her plan. But then they cut it. So then I didn't have the ability to go to, I mean, it did, but I'm not going to spend like a hundred something dollars just to go to a doctor so he can say there's nothing wrong with me. But now I do have health insurance for my own and I'm definitely going to try to take a lot of tests and figure out what the hell's wrong with me. That's definitely a push for this year. I didn't want to make it too long. I'm going to end it right here. Salute. Whatever.